Emperor Johannes III was the last of the elder Gonda line of the Solomonic dynasty to reign over Ethiopia. He was the son of Tekel Georgius. He was largely a figurehead, with real power in the hands of the Andarase or regent, Ras Ali II a princeling of the Yeju dynasty. Ras Ali had compelled Emperor Johannes to marry Ras Ali's mother, the formidable Empress Menin Libanumade, who dominated both her second husband and her son, life. During the various wars between Ras Ali and his leading rival for power, De Jasmish Wube Haile Mayim of Semyon, Emperor Johannes was deposed and restored several times between 30 August 1840 and 1851, alternating with his cousin Saladengel. Johannes was deposed the first time for showing himself a friend to De Jasmish Wube. He was restored briefly in 1845 then restored once again, by some unknown means, in 1850, according to E. A. Wallace Budge. Budge portrays Johannes as a contemptible character, only tolerated because he belonged to the Solomonic line. He was a glutton and a wine-bibber, and was usually drunk, and when he was not in his banquet hall he was in his harem. On the other hand, according to Donald Crummy, he came under the influence of Catholic missionaries working with Bishop Justin de Jacobes, converting to Roman Catholicism in 1851. His ultimate fate is unclear, as well as many of the details of his reign. He is said to have been ruling as emperor the 18th of June 1847 when Empress Menon was defeated in combat near the northern shores of Lake Tana by Khazar of Quara, who captured Johannes and Menon and traded them to Ras Ali for the title of the Jasmish and the territories of the deceased Ras Kinfu and Gojam. Another source states that when Khazar finally used up the imperial throne, Johannes agreed to step down from the throne on the condition that the new emperor guarantee that he would not ever be made to reunite with his much-hated wife, Empress Menon. After this, Johannes lived as a commoner. In 1856, the Catholics in Ethiopia tried to interest him in returning to the throne, but he was far more interested in undertaking a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Two years later he joined the court of Emperor Tuadros and returned to the Ethiopian church. He was still part of Tuadros' court in April 1866, when Hormuzd Rassam mentions meeting the puppet emperor, Hatsi Yohannes who was sick and could come to the assembly. One of his letters survives, written the 11th of June 1869, in which he asks Napoleon III for financial relief. According to a letter written by his nephew, Tessima Zerababel, to Antoine de Bardi and dated 25 September 1875, Johannes died two years previously, which would be 1873.